I'm gonna reload that. I want to try out a different dialogue. Not that it probably matters, but whatever. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Caden Alenko was there. How did that go? It was good to see him. Do you have strong feelings for him? Would it bother you if I did, Kelly? No, I'm just making sure my commander isn't going bonkers. It's not like I'm trying to be a friend. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? <laughs> okay, well, that didn't do much anyway. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. So it looks like we'll have to talk to Miranda. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hack at Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Whoa, what's up with this? I didn't expect that. Okay. Uh huh. Right. Well, this is interesting. This must be a DLC mission. Thank you for your time. I'll keep this brief. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. Oh, I missed you, Admiral Hackett, giving us random missions all the time over the comm. <laughs> I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. What's Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Jensen is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. Alright, well, we got another side quest. That's from the, um... 
uh, the Arrival DLC, I think it is. If I remember right. Pretty cool. Totally unexpected. But pretty cool. Actually, while I'm here, might as well actually check the private terminal now that Admiral Hackett's done interrupting me. Untitled from somebody. Hey, Shepard. Heard I have you to thank for getting out of purgatory. Sent ship to round me up, but they didn't weapons check good enough. I'm gonna carve your name instead of mine into my next victim as thanks. Got anyone you need dead? Haha. -ha. You did take a shot at me, though, on my way out, so I have to kill you. You know how it goes. Dad taught me that you let anybody hurt you, they get ideas, so you make sure to send a message. Not like I'm sending now, though. See you around. The people who live here are coming back, and it's showtime. Look around for your name. I'll make sure you find it before I find you, Billy. Alright, Billy. I'll look forward to killing you later. Robin Reeve, Commander, the Alliance soldier gave me this contact information. I hope this reaches you. You said you were trying to stop those collectors. They took my son and brother. Have you found them? Do you know where they are? I know you're looking, but so many people are just gone. Every family lost someone. The children are the worst. Empty desks at the schools, winter clothes that never get worn. Please, the Alliance isn't doing anything. The Council isn't doing anything. If you can find our people, I'm begging you to do something. Tell me something I can do. Tell me anything, Robin Reeve. Wish I could tell you something. But the game won't let me. Shadow Broker Intel, really? Uh, we're aware that your old friend Liara Tassoni has been hunting for the Shadow Broker for several years. We wouldn't mind helping her in that hunt, given the Broker's past work for collectors. We recently uncovered some information that might give Liara a lead on where to find the Shadow Broker's base of operations. But unfortunately, she doesn't have much faith in Cerberus Intel. If you'd, if you'd visit Ilium and pass it on to her as a gesture of goodwill, we'd appreciate it. I will do that whenever we get there. Alrighty then, that's another quest from the Shadow Broker DLC. Let's go to crew quarters, talk to people. Pretty cool to finally see Admiral Hackett. Though he looks like pretty much every other admiral, admiral in the game, especially from Mass Effect 1. Looks pretty much the same. Nothing in here. Doctor's not going to have anything to say. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creep the hell out of me. Alrighty. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical. But she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus, and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. 
My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Alrighty then, we'll do that. Another loyalty mission. We're gonna have a lot of missions now. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Alrighty. Well then, have to go talk to uh, Zaid and Grunt and Jack. I was just thinking about you. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. This one security guy keeps staring at me. I think his name is Bert. I'm used to being watched by security. But they're usually staring at my eyes or watching my hands. I might have to start cloaking through the CIC from now on. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I really wish they would have done more with Kasumi. I hope if she's back in Mass Effect 3 that they have more dialogues and stuff for her. Cause she's a pretty cool character. She just doesn't have a whole lot to say. Grant, what do you have to say? Anything good? Anything good? Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> Just sitting here thinking. The picture, huh? I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint, the battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head, and a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. I don't know if I'll be coming down here for these talks anymore. Whatever. Don't have to be friends to fight good enemies. Just thought you'd like to know I'm finding reasons for my own battles. Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. That's all for now. Shepard. Alrighty then. So Grant's realizing he's a brutal... brutal barbarian. That's always great. Jack... Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so... Uh... I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. 
A better place. Right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What'd you do when you found out? What do you think? <laughs> you must have met some good people, too. Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson, done it all. And that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. A space station? You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. <laughs> you were a pirate too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. <laughs> Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. <laughs> That's real nice, Jack. Real nice. Did you hear that we are sharing our deck with a Krogan? Well, ain't that peachy. <laughs> okay. Oh, Zaid. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Tough fight on horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. New smoke, Shepard. Don't. That stuff will kill you. Your kid once. Weapons dealer. Probably half your age. Bastard smoked too close to a cache of explosives. Tossed a butt, blew himself sky high. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Alrighty then. Back to the CIC. We're gonna stop by and talk to Joker real quick. And then that'll be it for this set of videos. Next set of videos, I don't know what we're going to do. we got a lot of missions to go through now. Hey, Commander. It's, uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden. Staff Commander Olenko, wasn't it? He moved on. I can't blame him. He was frontline with you against a Reaper, and I'm the one who gets roped back into saving the galaxy? Did someone switch our files? You're the force that pulls it all together, Joker. Yeah, it sucks. I'll give you that. <laughs> 
I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. It seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. I'm not saying anything about Jack. I'm not stupid. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Alrighty then. You know what, before I end the set of videos, let's do one other thing, and let's go to the uh, Citadel and buy more upgrades. Now that we have some monies. Unless we get interrupted again. Alrighty. Oh, we'll have to level up too. I forgot about that. Um, probably doesn't matter who he takes. So let's just take you and. You, we haven't had you for a while. Three points, three whole points. I think I'm going to save it for the combat drone. You have four points. Eh, let's give you some disruptor ammo, sure. is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought. Is Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Oh, come on, loaded already. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Took you long enough. I don't think you're going to have anything. Fine, fine. I just need to pick up yep. some spices. Amino dextrous and amino sinister, if you have it. You don't mix your spice, Corel. Welcome to Citadel. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Let's get some more fish, just to waste our money. I don't think we can talk to him again, can we? The 
This is depressing. Nope. How about we find a tool and beat the crap out of I'm always ready. Two years after a Geth attack nearly destroyed it, the colony of Zoo's Hope has announced plans for an expansion. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Heavy pistol damage, definitely getting that. Submachine gun damage, definitely getting that. Sniper rifle damage, definitely getting that. Um, don't need that, and I don't need that. Zakara Ward Promenade offers upscale shopping and entertainment. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. In everyone's life. For ten credits, we offer data protection for any game we sell. If the copy protection ever malfunctions. You can download a new copy free. Fast travel to the lower level. Oh, we could stop and talk to Captain Anderson about Caden, too. Forgot about that. Alright, I don't know if we've gotten everything from down here. Probably did. But I'll go check anyway. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Life support webbing, don't need that. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Got everything out of there, so that I think we're pretty much done other than talking to Captain Anderson. Presidium. I guess Counselor Anderson. I keep saying Captain. I <laughs> look. They even name him Captain Anderson instead of Counselor. Something I can do for you, Shepard? Caden Alenko was on Horizon. He said he was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved the mission. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. I'm sorry. I thought we were friends. Never expected you to go behind my back. We didn't know about you at the time. And I wouldn't have told you if I did. What if the elusive man was manipulating you? Lying to you? The report actually confirmed your story. I still don't trust Cerberus. But they were right about the collectors abducting the colonists. Unfortunately, Alanko didn't find anything to convince the Council that the Reapers are behind this. Or even that they exist. I better go. My door is always open. I'm gonna be right back. Gonna reset for apps, be right back. Okay. Sorry about that. Horizon has other council species looking to their own security. Normandy.
Alright, once we're back on the ship here, I'm going to make a save, and that'll be it for this set of videos. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. Got quite a few missions done. Probably a third of the way through the game. Maybe a little less with all of the DLC missions and stuff that we've got to do. And speaking of missions, let's check them all out. Let's check out the side quests. We have the Arrival DLC, which is for Admiral Hackett. Overlord and Firewalker, which are other DLC missions. Then we have a dossier for Tally, which means we can get Tally on the team. That'll probably be the next dossier we go after. As well as the Justicar and the Assassin. Then we have Lair of the Shadow Broker, which is a DLC mission. Um, Miranda is. This is Miranda's loyalty mission. Jacob's loyalty mission, Kasumi's loyalty mission, Zaid's loyalty mission, and the overall main mission of stopping the collectors. Everybody on the team, if you haven't gotten the idea, will eventually have their own little side missions, loyalty missions, and it's good to do them all, so that's what we will do, but um, I think our plan for now will be to go after Tally, and then we'll probably start doing some of these other random missions. But I definitely want to get Tally on the team because Tally's awesome. No messages for you, Commander. Tally's by far my favorite character. Let's get some more upgrades. SMG shield piercing. Let's do that. Sniper headshot damage, let's do that. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Alrighty. Well. Let's make sure we don't have any more messages. Nope. Alright, thanks for watching, boys and girls. I am the Good Old Gamer, and this has been more chilling out with Mass Effect 2 on Sarah Shepard's Adventures. Next time, we will go see if we can recruit Tally. Or possibly do another mission if I forget which one we wanted to do. <laughs> Either way, stay tuned for that. Bye for now.